Hey, John. Okay, now for the show. Uh, we'll start off like normal. Dwight, you'll do the intro, and then we'll go right over to me for letters. I've got... Uh, okay, here it is. I think this is it. got one letter especially. Uh, yeah, this is the one. I'll keep this close. A uh, young lady wanting to know if you'll do her your uh, Elvis impersonation for her. Uh, no. No, I don't want to do that. I, I think it's about time to retire the Elvis impersonation. I've gotten a lot of mileage out of that. Let's just let it go. Oh, I tell you, life without your Elvis impersonation sure is going to be rough. Um, let's see, move along here. Robert, how about you? Did you do anything interesting this month? Now, Robert over there, he did something this month, didn't you, Robert? Well, what did I do? You know Robert. Tell Bill what you did this month. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. It was an accident. No, Robert. Robert, don't you remember? Every Tuesday and Thursday night, I've been coming over, picking you up, and getting my pickup truck, and we drive over to the high school where you go inside the building and... Ooh. ooh. I'm, I'm going to school at night to... To, to learn how to be a janitor. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Uh, see, see, Bill, Robert, Mama found out about this program for, for guys like Robert, and he goes to school a couple of nights a week to learn how to be a janitor, so hopefully you can get him a good paying job with, like, the school district or a big hospital or, or, or a large corporation, you know, so, something that'd set him up real good. Well, hey, that sounds like a pretty good deal there. Uh, what are they teaching you in these classes, Robert? Well, let's see, they, they're going to teach us how to, how to dust and, and how to empty the trash and how to sweep the floors and how to mop and, and how to change a light bulb. And in the second, if we go a second semester, they're, they're going to teach us how to run one of those floor polishing machines. Tell them what you learned this week. Don't climb into the trash dumpster. And that's a good rule to live by, too, Robert. Tell you what, Bill, we got this old boy at work who a couple of years ago was, was needing some extra money. So he decided he'd start cleaning up offices at night. Went around and signed up a couple different offices, real estate, law offices and stuff. He'd go clean them up. Pretty soon he had his wife and his kids helping him. And now, I tell you what, a couple of years later, he's got himself a brand new pickup truck. His wife's driving a nice car, and they just bought some land out at Azel, and they got a double wide, brand new double wide trailer sitting there, and they got him a horse. And heck, he's even talking about quitting work and just, you know, cleaning up offices full time. I tell you what, that, that started out small, but he's leading a good life. I, I know a guy out in, out, in the, out in Azel, too, and he has a brand new double wide and a brand new pickup truck and 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 they've got horses out there and he lets me ride it and, oh and he's he's got a brand new red sports car and and just the other day he let me drive it and and i i did 200 miles an hour okay robert uh that sounds like a good friend to have um, how about you john did you do anything interesting this month well, you know, this month Dwight and I have been talking about me moving into this uh, little spare room behind his mom's garage over there, and you know, I could I could make money by collecting scrap metal and uh, old empty aluminum cans and whatnot. Don't climb into the trash dumpsters, John. Who'd want to do that? My God, who'd who'd be stupid enough to climb into a dumpster? <laughs>